policing. We're the ones provoking this war, just like we provoked the war in Ukraine. We are now provoking a war with China. And what? who, who benefits? I'll tell you right now. Your enemy is not China. Your enemy is not Russia. Your enemy is the military-industrial complex, which has been fleecing this country to the tunes of hundreds of billions and trillions of dollars. How many times are we going to have a defense secretary say, hey, we can't account for $2 trillion in the Pentagon again, That like, which has happened twice now in my life? Lifetime. So, again, people are being, uh, uh, the, the war machine cannot be stopped. Who's running this country? The war machine. It certainly isn't Joe Biden making these decisions. I would like to know who is making the decisions. And I just want to remind everybody, the United States is the world's terrorist. We just set the Middle East on fire in the last 20 years, and now we're doing a proxy war in Ukraine, which we provoked, NATO provoked, and it was just admitted that we provoked it by the former prime minister of Germany. And now we're trying to saber rattle with, with China, and they're predicting a war. Again, China's not going to invade us. China's not our enemy. They, we might have an economic war. That's what these are. These are economic wars. These are wars right. for in Ukraine. It's about liquefied natural gas and making sure Germany and Russia never come together because we fear Russia's uh, natural resources and manpower, and we fear them getting together with Germany with their technology and their capital. And so that's why we blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. That's why we're doing the Ukraine war. This is all about hegemony, imperialism, and economic economics. And if there's a Marine somewhere, it's there because they're about to steal some natural resources from another country. As everybody's screaming about what a bad guy Putin is for invading Ukraine, the United States is currently occupying a third of Syria. And which third is that? It's the third that has the oil. And how do I know we're there to steal their oil? Because the president of the United States said so. We're not, we're not even benefiting economically.